Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and another episode of 5 Awesome Mods to Download. This time, we are on the PlayStation 4 for Fallout. As many of you guys will know, Fallout 4 PlayStation 4 mods recently came out yesterday, and I thought, why not do a video compiling 5 of the best ones that I've seen so far into one video? And yes, that does mean that this series is now returning. And uh, the way I'm going to do this is it's going to be split in half. So uh, one episode will be the PlayStation 4 episode for that week. And then the second episode will be the Xbox One version for that week. Because as many of you guys know, the situations are very different between PlayStation and Xbox. And, you know, the mods that are available on both platforms are, in fact, very, very different. And I feel as though that's the best way to move forward with this as a series in general. So, as always, you know, if you guys do enjoy this as a series on the channel and want to see it continue, be sure to leave a like down below, guys. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. And let's jump straight into this. So, the first mod that we are going to be covering today is known as the Developer Room by Vanilla Thunder. As you've probably already guessed by the mod title, this mod adds the developer room into Fallout 4 for the PlayStation 4. Now for those of you who don't know what the developer room is, it's essentially this huge room full of chests that contain pretty much the majority items of the game within that room. So when you go here, you'll find chests that have all of the weapons in the game, you'll have chests that will have all of the books in the game, uh, chests that will have, you know, all of the armors, and you'll even have, like, little DLC categories. Uh, so there'll be chests for each of the DLC weapons and armors and stuff like that. Uh, even power armor, you can already see as well, um, if you have Nuka World DLC installed, uh, you'll have, you know, the two Nuka World power armors sitting in the corner, where all the rest of the Nuka World chests are as well. So it's pretty much a room containing the majority of the items in the game and how you get here is once you've downloaded the mod, uh, if you head just behind the house near the player home in Sanctuary, uh, this will be the yellow house and if you go behind it and then carry on walking down and cross the river, you will notice a huge door inside of a rock. I'll go ahead and bring up the exact map location for you guys right now. Within the mod itself, it doesn't really tell you where this is so it is best to show you guys you know, exactly where you can find it. And uh, once you're here, if you make your way through that door, you will then be inside of the developer room. And that's essentially how you get here. Now, considering there really isn't that many great cheat mods available right now on the PlayStation 4, like when I think of cheat mods, I'm thinking of things like where you can, uh, you know, insert a holotape into your Pip-Boy and have a, a cheat menu pop up where you can have access to various different cheats and stuff like that. Well, none of that's available just yet. Hopefully in the coming days, you know, again, this is just the beginning of PlayStation 4 mods, but hopefully in the coming days we can get stuff like this. But for now, in terms of cheat rooms and sort of cheats within Fallout, this is one of the best mods available at this current moment in time. And just as a quick honorable mention in regards to cheat mods that's available right now, we have another mod here known as Cheat Container. And uh, what this does is it essentially adds a small little component trunk next to each of the 29 external settlements within the Commonwealth. So, you know, in Sanctuary, you'll notice a small little component trunk directly next to the workbench. And this holds 60,000 units of each building component. So you'll never have to worry about obtaining building components ever, ever again. And of course, once you've actually taken them all out of the trunk, uh, simply go ahead and uh, deposit them all into your workbench. Pretty cool mod, definitely one that I wanted to add as an honorable mention. Again, you can check it out in the description below. And that leads us into the next mod of the video, which is known as Simply Green by Andrew CX. Now, Simply Green is a grass mod that adds brand new grass and growing trees around the environment in Fallout 4. And it's also designed to work around the very significant limitations that has been placed on PlayStation 4 mods uh, with external assets not being able to be used. So taking that into a fact, I'm actually really surprised that a grass mod has made its way onto PlayStation 4 and it's a pretty damn good one as well. Like it is more of an acquired taste. I mean, some people won't like it, uh, some people will, but it's just one of those changes in Fallout 4 that's there if you really want to go ahead and use it. You can see what it looks like from the gameplay in the background. And I'm just really happy that a grass mod made its way over to PlayStation. So very, very awesome mod there. Definitely one you guys should try out if you are into grass mods like these. Again, as always, with all of these mods, you can check them out in the description down below and add it to your game that way or simply search for it on the PlayStation 4 mods menus. Another awesome mod that you guys can try out yet again by Andrew CX and one of my personal favorite mods on the PlayStation 4 right now, we have Wacky Weapons Workshop. 
and this is essentially PlayStation 4's version of any mod, any weapon, and pretty much allows you to create the craziest weapons in the game and apply most gun mods to most guns from the base game as well. And if you also want to go ahead and uh, be able to do this on weapons from Automatron for Harbor and Nuka World, uh, there is also extensions that you can also add to your game as well uh, for specific weapons from those categories. But again, I mean, the possibilities and the amount of fun that you can have with this are pretty much endless. You can create some crazy type weapons. It really is a combination of mix and match because sometimes when you make weapons, uh, they won't work in the way that you think they will. And then sometimes they'll work much better than you think they will. So it's really fun to sort of combine weapons, see how they turn out. As many of you guys will know, if you've tuned into streams before, you can create crazy things like freaking automatic shooting Merv launchers, just crazy, crazy variants of weapons that you never even thought were possible. So this one is definitely a must download in my opinion if you are looking for a lot of fun out there. One of my personal favorites and a very, very cool mod to download on the PlayStation 4. And that leads us into the next mod of the video yet again by Andrew CX. I mean, this guy is going crazy with the mods on PlayStation 4. This one is known as Unlocked Settlement Objects. Now this mod is a basic settlement mod that seeks to add all available in-game assets for use within settlement building. So it basically expands massively on what's already available in the game to use for settlements. Like seriously, from being able to place down different variations of trees, brand new beds from the institute and just various different items that you didn't think were possible to place down, to huge buildings, you can literally create like cities with this stuff, huge different types of houses, various different vehicles. This mod adds a ton of settlement building assets for you to go ahead and have fun with. Now one thing that I do want to mention is that all items are not currently available. It's one of those mods that will keep getting updated as it goes along so uh, this is one to keep an eye on as more and more stuff will get added as the mod updates. But I mean defaultly this has a ton of stuff in it so if you are a fan of settlement building you know what even if you're not there is a lot of stuff you can do with this and it definitely is a very fun mod for you guys to check out. And for the final mod of the video, yet again, by Andrew CX, the main guy for PlayStation 4 mods right now, it seems, uh, this one is Unified Clothing Overhaul. Now, this mod has a ton of features. Like, when I say ton, I mean there is a lot of stuff this mod can do. Starting off, this mod enables you to upgrade all of your clothes, armors, hats, helmets, bandanas, and glasses with the Ballistic Weave option. Even if you've not done the Railroad quest line, so you don't have to do the Railroad quest line, when you've got this mod installed. Another cool feature that this mod brings is the ability to layer your armor over any item of clothing. So this essentially enables you to combine pretty much any item of clothing that you want in the game. Whereas before this was very limited, you know, certain pieces of armor couldn't be worn with certain pieces of clothing. Well, this mod pretty much turns it around and you can now wear every single piece of armor with every single piece of clothing, which in general adds a lot more creativity into the game and really allows you to combine different pieces of armor to make your character look very badass. In addition to all of this already being so awesome, we have some brand new crafting workbenches that you can now make, such as the ammunition bench, the armor smith, and the weapon smith. And uh, the armor smith essentially allows you to create various different types of armor and even costumes. These are brand new costumes in the game. Uh, where you can pretty much dress up as the alien, various different synths as well if you want. Um, there's a ton of different costumes, you guys will see me go through them as I actually show you guys uh, on screen. And these are genuinely awesome, like the animations are perfect on them. As you're holding weapons, it looks so sort of fluid that you could genuinely play as these characters in somewhat of a role play if you wanted to, which is really, really cool. It also adds various new items that can be crafted at this armor smith in addition to all of the items that can already be crafted. Uh, such as capes that you can wear, which is cool, a makeshift backpack that you can also make, which is very, very awesome as well, and various different types of wigs and hats to your disposal. So there's a ton of stuff, guys. Like, literally, there is a ton, a ton of stuff that you can do with this. And it's probably one of the biggest mods that I've seen in Fallout in regards to the amount of features this actually brings to the table. So if you are a fan of mods like these, this is definitely one you guys are going to want to download. And that's pretty much it for this week's episode of 5 Awesome Mods to Download right now on the PlayStation 4. Again, I do want to apologize for my voice being very weird for this whole episode because I have had a cold for like the past week and my voice is very bad right now, but 
Hope you guys did enjoy this episode today. As always, if you guys did enjoy and do want to see this continue as a series, uh, be sure to leave a like down below, guys. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. And don't forget, guys, I'm currently hosting an Amazon gift card giveaway, and all you have to do to enter is subscribe. That is literally it. In around two weeks' time, I will be announcing the winners in a video, and I'll also be messaging the winners as well via YouTube inbox. So make sure that you do have that enabled, uh, so I can message you around the time if you are chosen as the winner. But other than that, hope you guys did enjoy this episode today. The Xbox version will be out in a couple of days' time, so stay tuned for that as well. Subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.